Hi. I don't know a lot of things, but I know light. Hi, I'm Tim Roller with Tim Roller Photography. Thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to talk about the most important thing in photography, and that is light. The rule is, the bigger the light, the closer the light, the softer the light. The smaller the light, the further the light away from you, the harder the light. Well, what does that mean? If you think about, if I turn this light bulb on right now, it would blind me and blind everybody in this room. That's why we have lampshades. So it dulls down the light and diffuses it so it will go throughout the room and you can actually see something and you're not just blinded by some crappy light bulb hanging like this or sitting like this. So we have all kinds of things that we can use to turn this hard light into a big soft light. If you look behind me right here, this big octa, that's a great, that's a light that goes through two diffusers and turns a little bitty light bulb into a great big light. And we put that great big light really, really close to, to our model or our subject, and that big light makes it very soft. If you're up to 20 years old, soft lights, hard lights, you know, your, your skin's going to be pretty perfect. But the second you have any kind of wrinkles at all, the older you get, you want to make sure you get soft light because this light will wrap around you. It won't show your wrinkles as much. Hard light is going to show your wrinkles. You're going to squint. You're going to, it's just going to be bad. So stay out of hard, small light. Always remember that. This is a diffuser. This is my official Joe McNally. Anybody wants to know who the greatest photographer in the world is? His name is Joe McNally. You can buy these. Don't buy a Joe McNally one. Sorry, Joe. This one was really expensive. You can get it for 10 bucks, 15 bucks from B&H Photo. You go out and you hold this between the sun and your subject or the sun and yourself, and you're gonna hold up the, the, your phone, you're gonna take a selfie, you're gonna have beautiful light because the sun is gonna hit this and illuminate this whole thing, and all of a sudden, a, a, the sun, as big as a pinhead, became this big light, and it's, it's gonna it'd be beautiful. It's gonna be just beautiful. You can see right there, see how I pull it away a little bit, it gets bigger and softer. You go outside, like right now, if I go outside, I know it's cloudy. What happened? The clouds are diffusing the sun. So we have one of the biggest softbox in the world, which is literally the sky covered with clouds. So you have this wonderful diffusion. Now when you get outside, if the sun's coming down, it's nice and diffused, if you just want to kick a little light, you just get one of these guys, put it under their chin, the light will bounce up and hit their chin, it'll be a little softer, and then you, and then you got this big soft light coming on. If you, got the, if you have the sun, a good thing to do is put the sun behind them, get them in shade, and then just bounce a little bit of light into their face. The sun's gonna come on, hit, go in their face. It's gonna look beautiful. So there's all kinds of stuff you can do and you don't have to spend a lot of money. I'm gonna take a picture. Okay, ready? But what, I, what did I do? I threw a very, very small light at my subject. And that is not a good thing to do. It's not good to th throw this little bitty light at someone. So let's think about what is the biggest source of light in the whole room? I don't know, how about the ceiling? So if I point this up like this, I put this little flag right there and I take a picture, the entire ceiling just became a light source. I bounced the light off the ceiling and it came down and it just kind of flowed down. If I bounce a light off a white wall, I'm gonna take this light, I'm gonna put it like that, I'm gonna bounce it up against this wall. I'm gonna take a picture of my imaginary subject. The light bounced off that wall and lit them. That wall became my light source. Now, if you have a white wall, it's gonna be a white light source. If I have a blue, white, dark blue, and purple wall, it's gonna have a blue hue tint to it. So when you're bouncing light off walls, it's important to understand what color the wall is. What is my favorite color of wall? This is sarcasm, by the way. I have a little bit of that in me. A tan wall. I walk in to shoot someone and they have a tan wall and I swear I just want to jump out the window because it's just a nightmare tan. If I take this light, this big light back here, and I put it right here and I shoot someone with it, what's going to happen to that light? It's going to really make it pretty. It's going to be beautiful, but that light isn't going to stop. It's going to come up against this wall and it's going to bounce back. And so whatever the bounce is comes back and gets you. If I didn't want any bounce back light, I would put a black board right here. Okay, let's talk about windows 
and doors. I have heard everybody say, natural light and windows are my favorite light. It's just so beautiful and it's natural light. I love natural light. I love when natural light flows through the window and hits me and it's just natural light. You know what? It ain't natural light, honey. It's coming through a window. The window is a diffuser. It's taking that big, awful, terrible light that's outside, it's doing something to it, and it's bathing you with a light the size of the window. I had someone that worked for me one time. She said, why do you use flashes? All you need is to do is shoot through a door. Okay, well, I didn't go, it wasn't even worth going through all the, the explanation of that. The, a door is a beautiful light, and you use natural light, but it's not natural light. You're diffusing the light through a doorway. And she's right. It's beautiful light. And it is natural light, but it's diffused natural light. And you always want to think about the bigger the light, the closer the light, the softer the light. And everybody that says, I love natural light, sit next to a window, it's perfect, they're absolutely right. But always understand it's diffused natural light. And the difference between a diffused natural light and diffused um, non-natural light is just electricity. That's the only difference. Some people talk about the magic hour, and this is really, really important, and it's even more important to understand the, ma the, the magic hour. It's the hour right before sunset when the sun is coming down and it's just beautiful, and the, the whole sky is kind of this big, beautiful, soft, soft box, and that's really the time you want to take pictures. It's because the Earth's atmosphere is curved. Therefore, it makes it look bigger. It doesn't get any bigger. It doesn't get any closer. It just looks bigger because the Earth's atmosphere is curving it. It has to go through more atmosphere. It makes it softer. It's not as bright. And so you can use that as this big, beautiful, soft, sometimes orangish light, and you usually have beautiful clouds. Now, if you ever want that sunset behind you, make sure you just get a reflector and bounce the sun that's behind you on your face and it will be beautiful. Your face will be illuminated. That's it. Thank you guys so much for getting through this with me. Remember, it doesn't matter who you are. If you're a mom wanting to take a picture of your baby, if you're a guy wanting to take a beautiful picture of your girlfriend, and let me tell you, chicks dig that. If you are uh, want to take a selfie, you're out with the girls, understand that get next to a window, get next to big light, get next to beautiful light. Take the pictures, get out there, shoot, shoot, shoot. Take pictures, take pictures. And I'll see you next week. Do not forget to subscribe. Please leave your comments. I love them. Keep them coming. Show me the love. I love it. See you guys later. That's, yeah. It's natural light. It's beautiful.